Okay, guys, Red Bull here. But big news just happened. I just got home. Uh, I just got home like an hour ago. I ate out with my dad and my brothers for lunch. I get home and I see Twitter popping off. I see people talking about something about Genshin. I have not seen this. I look at YouTube and they have released a Natlin teaser. I expected this on Monday, not on a Friday. What? This is way too sudden. I was planning on uploading Zone Zero Episode 2 today, but in the middle of me finishing up my, uh, like, the process of uploading it, this happened. So, we are here to react to Genshin Impact's Ignition Teaser, a name forged in flames. I have no idea what this, in, that this con contains, but I'm going to be posting edits, like, post-discussion. This is going to take a while to edit, but I'm going to try and upload this as fast as possible. This is absolutely bonkers. Like, what? They released, a, they released a teaser, and I'm pretty sure they also released the characters themselves and their voice actors. I am baffled. I'm baffled right now. Like, I, I did not expect this much content today. Like, all this came out an hour ago. But anyway... If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, click the bell to enable notifications to see new videos, and comment down below. If you guys want more Genshin Impact content, I will be recording and uploading my Clorin Story Quest uh, reaction by Saturday, or hopefully tomorrow. But without further ado, let's check out this Natlin teaser. Natlin! Uh, Natlin teaser, ignition, basically the ignition teaser. Oh my god, I am losing words. A uh, name forged in flames. We are starting in three, two, one, now. Hoyo verse. Bro! Let's go! Yes! This is in uh, this is in six weeks. Kachina will now release the ball to promote the upcoming tournament. Tournament? Huh? Pokemon! To remember it. That's too close. Huh? Oh, <laughs> you can't <laughs> And go! Too far! What? Yo! Then to Zhao! I want him! Pass. What is that thing, pixel thing? You can't remember what? I'm freaking out. Fushuan looking thing. Like Fushuan looking character. Not let music sound so good! What was that? What was that? This is that time of year again. Oh, hot. Hot. <gasps> what? Is that Mitsuru? The tournament. That looks like Mitsuru. Oh my god. I wonder if she's watching. Pyro Archon, show me. Show me, Himiko. The God of the War! The Ark of the War! <laughs> Yo! She looks sick! Himiko! <laughs> she looks epic! She looks the amazing! The tournament will soon begin! My dear friends, take your positions! <laughs> Embrace oh your my God. spirit and give your all! <sighs> This battle is for winners only. The champion will take off. <laughs> Sorry if I'm loud. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. The captain. Oh. Are you brave enough to compete? <laughs> Oh my god! The captain! <gasps> That's confirmed he's the, Ar the Harbinger, right? <gasps> I am shocked! I am shocked! Oh my god! She looks so good! The Pyro Oracle looks so good! She looks so good! <laughs> Time oh. to 
to burn again. Even the tiniest of sparks will not go unnoticed. Oh my god. Did you catch everything? Yes! But no! Yes, but also no! What is that? The six tribes! What our eyes see ought to be our fate. Please don't die, I swear to God. Close your eyes and feel. She better not die. She, she better For not be dead. Our blood, we will forge our true fate. The music was epic. First off, like that. Thank you, Hoyaverse, for 3 minutes and 44, 45 seconds worth of hype. So, uh, I am so hyped, teacher. I am so sorry if I yelled so bad. What is this teaser? What is that teaser? What is that teaser? I am baffled. I am shocked. I am surprised. They did this on a Friday. Not on a Monday. Oh my god. I even had a plan. I even prayed. I was like, they better not upload something new. Like, whoever's better not upload something new because it's gonna ruin my schedule. And they just did. Again. Oh my god. Oh my good god. They introduced like six, seven new characters. They showed the Pyro Archon. They basically gave us hype already for the story, which was a tournament arc, basically. And they also showed the captain, who is basically going to be the antagonist of, of this nation, where during Inazuma, we had Senora and Baladir. So Meru, we had Dotore. Natalyn, we had our Lachino and Child. And and now in Natalyn, we have the Captain. <laughs> I have to watch this again. I have to watch it again. I have to watch this again and again. The, the trailer is so good. The trailer is just good. I have to go through social media to see who are the characters for, 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 for Natalyn. Like, I, I have to see it. I have to check it. Like, there is no way I'm I'm not checking it out. Like, I have to check it. Like, are you kidding me? Like, uh, there is just no way. I'm just I'm just shocked. I'm just shocked. Like, I'm just shocked. I'm shocked. Like, I still can't get over that they released the 4.8 even like. I get it, like they've done it before with Winter Nights Lazo and the the Overture teaser, right? I I I know, but like I know they've done it before. But like they did it like two days before the patch was even out. Like they did it like two days before the patch came out. Like the current like the patch before the the region comes out. And my god, like what? Okay. Uh, I have to be right back. I have to scroll through Twitter and see who the hell are going to be the characters for this patch or for this nation. And I am going to be deciding who I want to pull for already. I cannot wait. But I'll be right back. I'll have to scroll through Twitter and actually check if they have everybody out. Okay, so I am now back. Oh my god, I found them. I found them. So first off... The shark girl they released that they showed during the end of the 4.8 live stream, that's Mualani. So her name's Mualani. And I've I cannot believe it. I want her. I want her because of just the English voice actor. Mualani is Cassandra Lee Morris. That's Morgana. That's Morgana from Persona 5. Like you don't understand. Okay? I love the Persona voice actors. I love Max Middleman. I love Erica Harlicker and Erica Limbeck. Like, they voice Ito, Venti, and Chevrus, respectively. And now we have another Persona 5 voice actor <laughs> joining the roster of Genshin. I want her. I don't know what her element is. 
The only thing they showed is the voice artist announcement, which is basically the character name and the voice actors. But oh my god. This came out an hour ago! What? How? Oh my god. Next is the Geo Chibi Girl. Um, I, I hope... I also want her because, first of all, she's adorable. She's cute. Her name's Kachina. I don't know uh, the voice actress. It's Kristen McGuire. I don't know her, like, if she's played any other role that I've heard of. But, um, God, that's awesome. She looks so cute. She looks amazing. But, um, another character that I want. So far, these designs look sick. Uh, Kenich. I want Dendro Zhao. Dendro Zhao is Kenich. I I want Dendro Zhao. I want him. I don't know why. I want him. I don't know why. And then the the pixel looking thing in near uh, Kenich during the trailer is the Almighty Dragon Lord, Kulu Ajao. So that's. I don't know if that's gonna be a playable character. I assume it's, it's like Oz. It's like a companion, basically, like Oz, or um, uh, Kaveh's toolbox. I forgot the name of Kaveh's toolbox. But um, next character is the the Fushuan looking character, uh, Kit Kitlali or Sitlali. It's Skylar Davenport! That's March 7th! That's March 7th! She looks like Fushuan! I want her! I also want her! Their designs are just so good. I don't know who I want. I don't know who do I- Like, I don't know who to skip! I don't know who to skip! And she also looks Electro. Her color scheme, like, looks Electro. I'll be shocked if she's, like, Hydro. Actually, no. Now I think about it. Wan Lani's Hydro from the Hydro Tribe. Kachina's Geo. Kenich is Dendro. Sitali is Electro, I'm assuming. But I, damn, I'm still surprised. Like Skylar Davenport's in Genshin. We have March 7th. We have Gaming, which is like Kalis, male MC from Star Realm. And then we have Skylar Davenport. We have March 7th. Two more, and then we get <laughs> two more, and we get the the, the Astral, or three more. Then we have the Astral Express family. We need Corey Landis, Chia Core, and uh, and uh, oh my god! Like we need Don Hong's VA. Uh, I we need Nicholas Leung. We need Chia Core, and we need Corey Landis in Genshin. Next is Zilo, Zilo, uh, Um, that's the um, the the cat looking, like the cat looking milf. But um, she looks she looks sick too. God, she looks sick. I don't know what tribe she's in. I'm assuming Geo or Animal. I don't know. And the next is Ian Sun. I'm assuming he's Electro. Because he has like Sethos color scheme. Ian Sun, we've already seen him or her in um in the the Tevat preview trailer, like years before. This is one I actually want. Chaska. She reminds me of Mitsuru from Persona 3. Like her hair just reminded me of Mitsuru from Persona 3. But, God, she looks hot. She looks hot. She looks hot. I wonder if she's Pyro or Electro. But lastly, uh, we have Mavuika. That's the Pyro Archon. Bro, with the shades too. Like, she looks badass. She looks badass. Ugh. I wonder if that's just like a fake name. Because I I still hope, I still hope, I still hope her name's Himika. 
Her name is Himiko. I hope her name's Himiko. Like how we have Raiden Shogun and then her name's A. I hope that's like I hope that's just like a a um um a title. But damn. She looks beautiful. She looks great. She looks great. Oh, I can't wait together. I can't wait to make my collection of Archon 6 out of 6. Because I have every Archon in the game so far, and I plan on making it 6. I even joked about it, I'm like, I'm gonna see 6 Pyro Archon. Because, but obviously there is no way in hell that I, a free-to-play player, will get C6 Pyro Archon. There is no shot. But, um, I... <clears throat> My hopes is that in 4.8, I plan on getting Navia and Nilu. And then by 5.0, if Risley's coming in, I'm going to be pulling for Risley. And then I'm going to skip 5.1 entirely in hopes of saving for <laughs> Pyro Archon 5.2. If she is coming out on 5.2. If she's coming out on 5.1, I'm in trouble. <laughs> uh, and lastly, Auroron. Auroron. Nathan Noakes. I don't know who this guy is, but he looks sick too. I think he's Animal Tribe. And then obviously, let's not forget the captain. They haven't shown the captain yet, but obviously we have the captain, obviously. But God, I want to watch that trailer again, but I... I if I rewatch it again and again, I'm going to be losing my mind. I'm going to lose my mind, and I'm actually going to be... Like, making a 40-minute video of just me reacting to this thing. So, God, I... I'm just baffled. I'm just baffled. Like, they released so much info. And 4.8 isn't even out yet. 4.8 is going to be out in five days. It's going to be out next Wednesday. Because I will be recording Zenless Zone Zero today as well. I have to be uploading uh, this and episode 2 of Zenless Zone Zero. Tomorrow, I'm going to be recording my my reaction to Cloren's story quest and hopefully by Monday I do Sea Twins. But God, what? I am baffled. I'm baffled. I'm surprised they actually did this. Like, I'm surprised they did this. I, I didn't expect them to do this. But oh my God. Pyro Archon dude. She's been she's just beautiful. I I can't get it out of my head. I just can't. I I don't know what to do. Like, I, I kind of don't even want to pull on 4.8 anymore. The, like, trailer hype, first off. Trailer was hype, first off. Second, character designs were sick. And third, I'm already hyped for this nation. Because, like, I remember far, like, months back, when they teased, like, Natlin, I was like, okay, it's a land of dragons. Okay, sure, we're gonna get... The Goddess of War, the Archon of War. Um, I prayed it was Himiko, but most likely it's not Himiko. And then um, they basically gave us no nothing. Like we we didn't get anything from um, Genshin uh, like ever at all. Like about the, like now and all. We like this is the nation with the least amount of info we've had. Like other than Shinjaya, because obviously we know a lot about Shinjaya already. Like. We've seen it in trailers. That's where the Fatui Harbingers, like, settle. That's where the Saritza is. And and whatnot. Like, we've already heard bits and pieces about Snezhnaya. But, like, we haven't... Like, we don't need to know that. We're gonna be excited because, like, that's where we get to meet the Saritza. Which is basically, like, the... The... The big... Like, the big cheese of the Archons where, like, oh, I'm gonna grab all seven Gnosis and plan to use it for something to create a new world, basically, with my with my Harbingers. But, Nalan is a nation where we don't, we really have no info of it. Like, years before, like, Sumeru, we've already had, like, a little taste test of Sumeru. Like, we've gotten, uh, like, the, like, a few teases already with it. Like, the new mechanics, like, Dendro stuff. So, yeah, we already... We're excited for it. Fontaine, they also tease this again with with um, the Hydro characters. But, like, we've already gotten, like, bits and pieces of it with, like, World Quests and the events even talk about it. But, like, 
Now then something we haven't gotten any info of ever in the game like thus far. Like we haven't gotten that much info in the game. Like sure they'll talk about little bits and pieces of it but like we haven't gotten a significant amount of info for or not in the, throughout the entire game. And now they just dropped like a lot of info on us for the last like two weeks basically. With like the uh, four point uh with the 4.7 uh, like teaser for Natlin, they showed us the dragons. Um, 4.8, they showed us the the landscape and a little bit of the landscape and three of the characters. And then, uh, like a week after, they basically showed us this again. Like they gave us more info than we we bargained for. Like we've asked for a little bit of info, but we got a lot more than we've uh, we've asked. And I'm happy for it. I'm actually happy. But yeah, overall, this teaser was hype. I'm excited. I will apologize um, if I hype too loud. I just could not contain my excitement because I'm excited for this region. And obviously, red being my color scheme in, in most cases, I'm excited for a few things such as Pyro Traveler. Hopefully he's not trash or hopefully she's not trash like um, <clears throat> Hydro Traveler. But um. I'm also excited for the mount system. I'm also excited to pull for the new characters. I'm excited for what the storyline's gonna be. I expect hype already for the Natlan Archon Quest. I cannot wait. Um, I also expect a lot of great things from this nation because obviously they are increasing the file size of the game. And me now turning into a mobile player, it's gonna suck. It's gonna suck balls that. Yeah, I'm gonna eat so much space out of my phone because of that one. And I'm kind of happy and also scared of it because obviously the file size. But at the same time, I'm excited because that means greatness is happening in Genshin. And I'm really looking forward to it. But anyway, that's it for my reactions to Natlin stuff. Um, this Natlin Ignition teaser. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, click the bell to enable notifications to see new videos. Comment down below if you guys want more Genshin Impact videos on the channel. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys. Red Bull out.